Hi everyone, this time I'll show you how to crochet Alice monster hat. We'll do these triangles and also the ear flaps. For this monster hat I'm using Baby Super Soft Yarn by Schachenmeier. This is color number 155 and it's recommended uh, size 3 to 4 millimeter hook and I'm using an E hook 3.5 millimeters. You will also need a tapestry needle and a contrast yarn with a contrast in color. This is for example Schachenmeier Bravo. And then you will need some white and black yarn for the eyes and for the teeth. We start with a magic ring for this former ring. Put the long strand under the ring and pull it through the ring. And you have here a loop. Insert your hook through this loop, but do not tighten. And secure this with a chain stitch. So yarn over and pull through this loop like this. Okay, so now we'll crochet eight half double crochet through this ring, yarn over, go through the ring, pull through the yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the three loops. And this is a half double crochet. One more time, yarn over, Pull up a loop, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all the three loops. And we need six more. Okay, so now we take this short strand and pull. And you get a nice circle without holes. Okay. And I will continue crocheting in spiral rounds and the first round will be an increasing round for each stitch so we will increase every stitch and we crochet two half double crochets in each stitch. So we use both loops and we crochet one half double crochet and the second through the same stitch. So you use the same hole for this. And this was an increase. So we have two half double crochets in the next round, then the third and the fourth stitch through the same hole. Five and the six through the same and so on until we have 16. So this is the first round and I set my marker into the last stitch and round two we will increase every second stitch. That means one half double crochet through the first stitch and two half double crochet through the second stitch and the second through the same and then again one half double crochet through the next stitch and two half double crochet through the second stitch and so on until we are at the marker again so this is round two and i'm at the marker so before last stitch before the marker and now i will Move the marker and now we'll crochet round three and in round three we will increase every third stitch. That means we crochet the next stitch only one half double crochet, through the second stitch only one half double crochet and through the third stitch two half double crochets and then again one half double crochet through the next stitch also one half double crochet and through the third stitch three uh, no three two 
and increase only with two half double crochets yeah and uh, you will continue in this way to increase so into the fourth round you will increase every fourth stitch and to the fifth round every fifth stitch into the sixth round every sixth stitch and so on and you will have to measure your head and also to measure this circle and this circle should be two until four centimeter less than your head size if your circle is big enough we continue crocheting in half double crochets but now without increasing and without counting we crochet in spiral rounds and this will be the length for our head so the length for my head is nearly finished and the last two rounds will be joining rounds for this I will start with a slip stitch and then I put a marker to know where to start and where to end the round and I will start the round with a chain stitch and then I continue crocheting half double crochets until here at the marker again so we're now at the marker and to join this round you can see this is the last stitch before the marker and to join this the round we will skip the stitch with the marker and enter our hook through the next stitch and then slip stitch like this then we can move the marker chain one and continue crocheting half double crochets and join this round also as the round before and after the second round we will crochet the ear flaps to crochet the ear flaps you should put this hat on and you should set the markers where the ears are located and then we will start at our joining point we start chaining one and then crocheting in half double crochets until the marker okay so now we chain one and then turn our work and then continue crocheting backwards half double crochet crochets insert your hook through the second stitch from hook and then continue okay so now at this point we will turn our work but we won't chain one so we have no turning chain and we continue crocheting half double crochets Okay, so if you're done with one ear flap, we will turn to the second one and you take the yarn, pull it through the stitch and you make a knot and then you go through the same stitch, pull the yarn through, you have a loop and then chain one and you do the same like before, you crochet in half double crochets 
first row until the marker yeah, until you're here again then chain one and crochet backwards and then continue crocheting half double crochets without chaining one at the end of the row and then you will get the same ear flap again to finish your ear flap just cut the yarn and pull it through the last stitch then tighten and we can sew this later now we want to crochet the edging the outside of the head should face us and I attached the yarn here I tied a knot just in the corner and I will go through the same stitch again when I pull up a loop like this then I chain one okay and then I I will leave these ends like this at my work and I continue crocheting half double crochets and I'm just weaving these ends by crocheting over and I will do this also with with these short ends so we don't have to sew them so I will put them like this and also crochet over my ends yeah and then I will do this until we're here again and I will join this round as we joined the last two rounds with a slip stitch and then I will cut the yarn and sew in the ends if you crochet over your ear flaps there are no really stitches so you you won't find stitches as you already know so you have to to insert your hook at any place which has the same measurement like like your normal stitches here so you have to find your stitches on your own and it looks something like this for our head we'll need four of these triangles and we will need two with this color and two with a contrasting color and we will start with the usual slip knot for this create a circle put the long strand under the circle and pull it through you have here a loop insert your hook through the loop and then tighten okay then we chain stitches yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through and so on until your chain is big enough so I have here 22 stitches and if your chain is big enough we will join this to get the circle so make sure it's not twisted like this all the V's should face us and we insert our hook through the first stitch and join this with a slip stitch and the first round will be only half double crochet through the back loop only so I'm inserting my hook through the stitch and I'm crocheting only through the back loop because it's easier and faster for the first round and so on until we are here again so this is the first round and after this round we will start decreasing you fold your work like this that you have your start of the round on this side and we will decrease always on this edge and on this edge and I will show you how to decrease so yarn over and go through the next stitch I'm using both loops from now and you pull the yarn through so you have you have your three loops on your hook and you leave it like this then yarn over again and go through the next stitch 
and pull through and you have five loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through all five loops and this is your in decrease so we made only one out of two okay and then you continue you crochet half double crochets until the next edge or corner if you don't know the place then fold your work again so you have here your side and then you fold it like this and then you see oh, okay we have two left and then we will do the decrease and here the decrease five loops and then go through all the five loops and then continue crocheting your half double crochets and you will do this all the time so you decrease always here and here and you can see it quite good on this triangle. So we had here one row without decreasing and then always a decrease on this side. And then we will continue until we have maybe five or four stitches left. And I will show you how to close this. So we have now some stitches left and now we can cut the yarn. And pull it through the last stitch. Then we take a tapestry needle and I will pick up all the stitches. And then the needle goes through the inside. And then we tighten this. And then we can make a knot and sew the end. This is a knot. And then we'll hide the yarn. going through the through the yarn on the inside and you can also go through these strands so you're weaving in your end this okay and then we can cut it And you will do the other triangles also this way. So two of these and two with this yarn.
We need for our head also some teeth, and I will show you how to do this. So we start with the usual slip knot. And then we chain five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And we crochet half double crochets across the row. And we have four half double crochets at all. Then chain one. Turn your work and we crochet also four half double crochets. And now after this row we won't chain one at the end of the row. We will turn our work and continue crocheting half double crochets. In this row we have three. Then turn your work. We have only two. And if you now turn your work we have only one. Okay, so now we can cut the yarn can be a little bit longer for sewing the tears and then pull the yarn through the stitch. Tighten and we can use this long strand for sewing. And we need three of these and one which is a little bit shorter. It's actually the same, so you crochet the same way but we have one row less. So we also chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we crochet, whoops, half double crochets. But after this row, we will chain one, we turn our work and then continue. So we have one row less. Now we have three half double crochets, then two. And then one. Okay. And here also cut the yarn and pull through. So now we will sew the short strands and then we will sew this tease onto the head, for example, like this. So you can choose the way how to place them and how to sew them. Yeah, you know how to, how to sew these triangles and we'll sew this also the same way here. Okay, so if you're done with your teeth, just attach the black yarn and make a knot. And then we will slip stitch all the time. So I'm going through this stitch here. And I take the long strand and pull it through the stitch like this. Then I go through the next and pull through. I pull through also through the same stitch on the hook. 
and then through the next stitch so we were slip stitching all the time and then we are going to the next two here And you continue doing this all the way along the teeth until the end and then you will tie a knot and sew the ends. Yeah. And then we'll continue crushing the eyes. To do the eyes we need two circles and you will crochet them the same way as we crocheted the circle at the beginning of our head. And the last two rounds will be joining rounds, so we join with a slip stitch and then you chain one and you continue, so it's the same. And then maybe you have two black buttons or you crochet two black circles and you sew them onto the white circle and then you sew the white circle onto the head. Yeah, then you're done. So that's it. Have fun. Bye-bye.